The two most important day of your life is the day you were born and the day you found out why. Mark Twain said that, and it seems simple enough, you just need to find out why you are born. Because the first one already came. But the thing is, there's a long time in between those very important moments. And for people like us, we spend that in-between moments watching anime, playing games, probably masturbating, and those times not knowing what your purpose and what you're supposed to do is the exact reason why you should give Welcome to NHK a chance. The reason why I'm making a video about an anime that came out 17 years ago is because Welcome to NHK is one of those anime that is so painful to watch but you can't take your eyes off it because looking away takes you back to reality and maybe what's happening in the story is something that's happening to you or someone you love so you just kept watching and just feel empty in the end. Welcome to NHK is a story about the feeling of emptiness and not knowing why you're here in this world or maybe that's just how I see it. Welcome to NHK revolves around the life of Tatsuhiro Sato, a 22 years old college dropout who has become a hikikomori, a social recluse who withdraws from society. The series explores the challenges, anxieties, and internal struggles faced by Sato as he grapples with his isolation and tries to break free from his self-imposed prison. Sato believes in the obscure conspiracy theory that the Nihon Hikikomori Kyokai or NHK, a secret organization, is behind his hikikomori status. As he navigates his daily life, Sato encounters Misaki Nakahara, a mysterious young woman who claims to be a counselor. Misaki offers to help him overcome his hikikomori tendencies through a rehabilitation program. And then a lot of things happen, which I'm not gonna spoil. Instead, I'm gonna talk about the reason why it's so amazing without spoiling it. It's the characters. Each of them has a certain type of loneliness, how they cope with this loneliness and the general search for purpose and identity. This is all shown by our main character, Tatsuhiro Sato, as a hikikomori. He is isolated from society resulting in deep sense of loneliness and disconnection from others. He struggles with feelings of emptiness, longing for genuine human connections. To cope with this loneliness, Sato indulged with various forms of escapism such as immersing himself in anime, watching video games, and conspiracy theories. These distractions provide temporary relief but ultimately contributes to his isolation. A deeply flawed man still living in memories. The saddest part of Sato is that he did it to himself. There's no outside force like the death of a loved one, bullying or an accident. It's all him. He did it to himself still stuck to the past and able to move on from his senpai that he over glorified. But he does want to change. Shown as the series progressed, Sato start to realize that his coping mechanisms are not fulfilling and that he desire more meaningful connections. He begins to challenge his own fears and step outside of his comfort zone, seeking opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. And that all started when he met Misaki Nakahara, a composed and energetic young woman that helped Sato break free from being a hikikomori so that he can come back to society as she said. It's like a therapy session but with concepts that she herself don't fully understand. She's just reading a book to him to attempt to look professional. Every time Misaki is around, she has this feeling around her that it's not genuine, it's not true. It feels like she's hiding something and Sato sees right through it. However, Sato being the guy he is just goes with it. He doesn't have anything better to do and he still wants to get better. He wants a connection that maybe Misaki might give him. But Misaki is more complicated than that. She's not here just to keep the story going. Without giving away any spoiler, it is safe to say that Misaki's character art explores the complexities of loneliness, the yearning of genuine human connection, and the inner struggles that accompany the search for purpose and identity. Purpose is what Misaki and Sato is trying to find. However, not Kaoru Yamazaki. Yamazaki knows what he wants and Yamazaki is working hard for it. He dreams to become a successful game developer. Yamazaki is Sato's eccentric neighbors and former underclassman in high school. Yamazaki's loneliness stems from his social awkwardness and inability to fit in with his peers. He is often misunderstood and ridiculed, which contributes 
to his sense of isolation. However, what haunts Yamazaki is the pressure of everything, his parents, the social expectation, he even goes far as put pressure in himself. The expectation is that the game he's making will always be a hit. Yamazaki is so passionate yet somehow tragic. Yamazaki is not a genius, he just loves what he's doing. Yamazaki has that feeling that almost everyone has. Feels like he's following a dream that just feels like a dream. There are two more characters that I want to talk about, Hitomi and Kobayashi. Two people that change Sato's life in very different ways. And if I talk about them, then I might spoil both of their arcs. So give Welcome to NHK a chance and watch it. It might change your life just like it changed mine. If you enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button. Tell me more in the comments what you think. Peace out.